Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hot and Saucy. So today's look is a really orangey, shimmery look with the Natasha Denona palette and some of the, the BH Cosmetics palettes. So I hope you enjoy. This look was really fun to create and please keep watching. So to start, I'm dipping in with Bermuda from the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, and I'm using that as my transition shade. It's a warm neutral, so use whatever works for your skin. This, this is going to be covered up by orange anyways. It's just to provide a foundation for the other pigments. Now I'm dipping into Sundays from the same palette and brushing that right onto my brow bone. So now I'm dipping in with like a glittery yellow shade from Take Me Back to Brazil, the Rio edition, and I'm putting that under my eyebrow really carefully as a highlight. I know it's like a little bit weird to use yellow as a highlight, but I think with this look, it's gonna look really cool. And I like to extend that a little bit beyond where my eyebrow starts and a little bit beyond where it ends. So now I'm taking Soul and putting that on the underside of my brow bone, kind of where a transition shade would go. And this is going to be just the border of my lid color. Next, I'm dipping in with the orange from the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm going to put that all over the outer two-thirds of my lid. This isn't really giving me the color payoff that I want, so I'm gonna spray my eye. I'm trying to keep this contained to my lid, but if it travels up into your crease a little bit, that's totally fine. Now I'm going to shape out this outer corner as best I can while my eyelid is still wet. I might just take this opportunity to pack on a little bit more pigment. And I find that wetting my eyelid instead of wetting the brush saves the palette because you never know how the setting spray is going to react with the pan. I've ruined pigments by using setting spray on a brush and then dipping in. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait to shape out that corner until I have a smaller brush, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing on the other eye, and I will be right back. So this orange has traveled up a little bit higher than I would like on this lid or onto my brow bone, so I'm gonna try to see if I can wipe it off with my finger. Because the setting spray will kind of, once it's dry, it's set. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take that yellow soul color again and buff that out, buffing out that transition. And then I'm going to generously apply soul into my inner third. So now with a medium packed, medium sized fluffy brush, I'm going to tap on Mandarin and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So now I'm taking Morgana and I'm just going to shape out this outer corner. So I'm gonna try not to get this on my lower lid too much because I think I'm gonna put a different color there. But I'm going to bring this across 
across my brow bone, faking where my crease is, and just fill in that outer corner. So it's really subtle, but I think it will still add some dimension. Shaping out that fake crease, and then yeah. filling in this outer corner. I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here and add some lime green from the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette and see how that looks. I think what I'll do is I'll blend yeah. this into yellow here and yellow here and just have the green kind of lingering in the middle. Yeah, like a parrot look. Mm -hmm. does have all these colors. But now I can't decide if I should bring this green up or if I should continue with yellow. I'm going back in with soul and just cutting that corner a little bit and then bringing that across and a little bit under the green to bring it all together. So I'm going to do the same thing with the inner corner. Blending under the green and a little bit into it. I'm just gonna drag that again around my eye because I want that yellow to be surrounding the entire look and bringing everything together. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. So I'm gonna do a wing.
Saucy signing out. You're gonna be recording with sweatpants.